let's discuss how we simulate s and z parameters and see and how we can analyze the matching networks and all let's take simple network i have a port here whose resistance reference impedance is 50 ohms and i have put a resistor of 100 ohms all right i'm opening adl s parameters select this port and it doesn't matter whatever frequency you give because this is a simple resistor which is independent of frequency so i am giving uh, let's say 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz all right linear number of steps let's run 100 steps it's fine it's, it runs quickly so let's say 100 steps done now results direct plot main form and if i plot sp rectangular magnitude it gives me mod of that thing since it is real the magnitude will equal real part but you can nevertheless try and see what it says real part imaginary part the real part equals the magnitude and imaginary part is zero because there is no capacitive inductive elements it's a pure resistance it has only real part and the magnitude is 333.33 milli which is 1 by 3 if we calculate the looking in impedance is looking in impedance from this side is 100 ohms and this is 50 so z in minus z naught by z in plus z naught which is 100 minus 50 by 100 plus 50 which is 50 by 150 1 by 3 0 0.333 justified now let's give it a try and let's put it 50 let's simulate results direct plot main waveform s parameters magnitude should be 0 both the looking in impedance and the characteristic impedance both are 50 now let's see what it gives in db20 this is a little bit interesting so whenever you see something in negative kilo db's minus 6.4 kb kilo db or minus 5 kilo db its cadence way of telling that it is very close to zero you see the real part sorry the magnitude is zero but in db20 it says minus 6.4 kb on paper it is minus infinity that we know 20 log zero it approaches infinity it's very large negative infinity right but cadence shows this as minus 6.4 kb so whenever you see something very large negative it's very close to zero very very close to zero right so that's what i wanted to show now uh, if we have another port here let's put an another port here and let's analyze z parameters also this is going to be interesting all right so this has 50 ohms right so if i look in this network and if i look from this side or if i look at this node what it sees is this 50 ohms this 50 ohms this 50 ohms right so and let's simulate this we have to include the ports select this port this okay run right results direct plot now let's look at zp zp is nothing but z parameters and if i say z11 it says 50 because if you have already known how z parameters are calculated it's very clear that this port will be open up right if you have forgot it or if you are not able to understand this you can watch the video one of my earlier videos that is right up there 
will be open circuited the only impedance that it sees is 50 but when we are doing a matching kind of thing for rf people when we do when we look at matching network and all this impedance would actually be there we are just putting this for simulations right so that's where we have to tick zm and plot zm1 you see zm1 is 25 ohms whereas z11 is 50 so zm1 is purely designed by the simulator to plot matching network kind of thing so this zm1 what it does is it rather terminates this port with the impedance that it has whatever the impedance that you give to it that will be put at this point and it calculates for z parameters it opens the circuit at this point and calculates it right you can clearly see 25 which is nothing but 50 in parallel with 50 making it 25 right you can play with this a little bit and see what it actually does right now i have a resistor and make you 50 ohms now i'm putting a resistor 50 ohms between these two ports let's plot z11 see it is in some pico if i or it's not pico it's some p p is something that is very high open circuit should have high impedance right this will be open it looks at an open circuit very high impedance now let's look at zm this should have 50 in series with 50 that should give it 100 right see 100 and this is something very very large z11 is very large whereas zm1 is 100 right straightforward and clear you can do this experiment so whenever you are looking at matching thing whenever you are intending to look at z11 purely in terms of matching network kind of thing then always use zm and not use zp because zp opens up this port but zm terminates the other port with its impedance that's it.